crazy, but it's so hard to avoid. And, you know, just seeing all of our brothers and sisters getting harmed for no reason at all for simply living, it's truly heartbreaking. And, you know, it's at a point where when we start to feel helpless and like we don't know what to do, that's when we start praying. And it's like, I, you know, we just get on our knees and we just pray to God and we ask for guidance and light. Because, you know, that's just what we do when we start to feel helpless, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. I feel you so much. And, you know, I, I, you know, just thinking about the amount of, it is, it's a lot of information. I think that's what everybody's been sharing so much is, you know, it's an onslaught of information, which on one hand is quite positive because Mm -hmm. we need to see it that clearly. We need to be talking about it. Everybody needs to be engaged. At the same time, it does, you know, feel so heavy and Mm -hmm. we don't want to see the same things all the time without the proper indictments and the proper arrests and, you know, the way that it's supposed to happen. So, so, but I do find that this, this ability for us, it seems like we're in a place where everything is supposed to be seen. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I was thinking about that the other day, just how even though this feels like a very trying time for us, it's actually good that everyone is now seeing it, Mm -hmm. that we're opening our eyes to it. I mean, it's happened for a long time. Everybody has seen it, but the exposed, the more that it's exposed the more people know and it hurts it does and we've just been using meditation and prayer Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. cleanse our spirits to to pray for george and his family and Mm -hmm. and just hope that with love that this will all just one day just all go away so we're just i don't know we're just trying really hard and 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 praying yeah no i super feel you and i think prayer is a beautiful thing and i think for 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 here you know we can't forget to ask for what we need you know and and sometimes we might need some relief sometimes you know obviously we 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 do we do need relief and sometimes we need um support sometimes we need to be uplifted sometimes we need to be reminded also that there are so many good people in the world that big big love Again, to my sister Tamika Mallory, to um, to Sean King, yeah. to our beautiful brother uh, Jermaine Williams, who just had some really powerful words to say about you know not being okay and that like you can not be okay. You know we are in all right right now. So I, I think that I think that when you see though that that, that there's so many beautiful hearts who care so much about where we are and and have cared and will always care. And we care about each other, you know, reminds us that we are a community and we, and we get to love each other and we get to, we get to see the goodness in each other. Cause sometimes it looks looks like, where is the good, where I don't understand this level of hate. Like I don't even literally understand this level of hate. Yeah. Uh, It's like, so when I meet someone with such a beautiful spirit and when I'm able to be here and healthy with my family, it makes me appreciate life so much more. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I am just immensely grateful for life and to be able to be myself as a young black woman. And, you know, I just have to remember that there is light at the end of the tunnel and there's hope for us. And we just all have to keep our heads up and continue to stand in our power and follow yeah. God and love and grace. And I feel naturally it will fall into place, hopefully. you know. That's great. We are on an evolution. This is a time exactly. of a great evolution. It's yeah. a time of great change. You know, it's a time for us to decide yeah. who are we and who do we want to be yeah. and who, who we don't want to be. And I think that that's happening on a number of levels, especially with people from many backgrounds and walks of life and just, you know, again, encouraging our friends that are from many places that are, you know, from different countries just to continue to open, open, open open-minded, be open-minded and, and see 
how this is something we all have to change together. You know, I think that's a deep part of what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of gospel as well. Like a lot of healing voices have really been helping me. Who you been listening to? Let's let's get some Well, okay, of course, the OGs, Clark sisters. (laughs) So good. Kiara Shear's new album is amazing. So and good. Just, yeah, mm-hmm. and it's so positive and uplifting and just makes me feel so much better. Yeah. And Tori Kelly's her yeah. gospel album is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Oh. So I, I feel like music is so powerful and I, I'm grateful that my sister and I have that right now. Because yes. we're kind of just putting our whole souls into that and that's where we're kind of letting our pain and anger go and turning it into love and light. Mm-hmm. And like I, I don't know what I do without music. So whether we're listening to, you know, gospel or meditation music or creating it ourselves, I just feel mm. like that's kind of our outlet and that's yeah. been therapy for us in a way. You know? That's so, that's so good, and I know that music is therapy for all of us and everybody mm-hmm. that's listening. You know, I, I was saying the other day, I, I played Nina Simone's Feeling Good. Yeah. Oh, my God, I just, and that's, again, and look, you know, saying the bees know how it feels to be free, and, mm-hmm. and the wind knows how it feels to be free, and, you know, again, th- you listen to that song, and you, you, just, you just are reminded that that's all what we all want. Yeah, that's absolutely. what we all want you know so that yeah. that and your beautiful music is coming soon i can't wait thank oh, you thank you yeah it's really we're just really grateful and excited we we've been holding on to this body of work since november we finished yeah it we in. finished our album in november so we're really happy to get it out <laughs> yeah. yes. and, and you know with everything kind of crazy going on i'm just happy that we can put music out in a time where uh, people can kind of just let go and listen to the music and lose themselves in the music and be free. No. Um, and so I hope during that, you know, that's what we can do. That's our, that's what we can do right now for our people. Just put music out and just kind of hope to bring some love and light. Yes. That's right. That's, that's, thank you for being that conduit. Thank you for sharing the, the, the ways that you're navigating negativity and just, Thank you know, you. For, for tuning in and dropping some jewels and, and, for, and for just existing in your light, existing in your beauty, existing in your individuality, Thank you know, Thank to you. remind us all that we are here to be ourselves and in, exactly. in our glory. So yeah. just we, Thank I you adore for doing you. I'm so happy we could chat. Me we too. love you. We love you. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Bye, to the evolution. Bye. I'll talk to you guys soon. We'll see, see you. Bye, baby.